number two uh, we have the tables running uh, and I'm gonna tell you first about the HUD uh, I'm gonna explain you HUD first in details uh, when I have the time so uh, on the top his name his uh, number of hands uh, this is uh, VIP, this is preflop uh, this is uh, fold versus 3-bit out of position and fold versus 3-bit in position so uh, when we click here uh, uh, pop-ups are connected with the stats for example if we want to see his uh, call 3-bit uh, pop-up 3-bit actually caller 3-bit pop-up out of position we click fold versus 3-bit uh, fold versus 3-bit uh, out of position if we want to see his uh, calling 3-bit uh, pop-up we, we click fold versus 3-bit in position so we see the pop-up when he called the 3-bit so it's pretty intuitive uh, and you can easily know which pop-up you need to click uh, here is a, a multi-way pop-up we connected it in hands uh, next to it is a, a deep, deep pop-up and next to it is a 4-bit pop-up okay so when you click here you get uh, how people play when are deep and next to it is a 4-bit pop-up when you see how they play 4-bit pops we see what hands they 4-bit which hand they call four bit with how they play when they call for when they made four bit and how they play when they call four bit okay and, and uh, now we have a, a race first in stats so this is opening for uh, UTG this is for uh, middle position cutoff button and small blind his race open in that spot and when you click here for example you see uh, which hand his uh, which hands he's opening uh, you see his range so you can click here 14 percent and you can see what which which hands he has okay so his bet check bet here's I'm gonna check he he do it like really 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 rarely and he's probably really betting jack x so the queen jack or jack 10 probably I would call uh, I would probably call against someone who has some sort of bluffing range so for example if he see it a lot I don't know with ace, ace, ace 7 of anything or ace 5 or stuff like that and he's uh, betting the river but this player doesn't do that okay we're gonna we're gonna move forward with the hard explanation so we have like a middle position Position open. We, are, we click here and we see hands that he's open in middle position. We he, we, we can also he, see here what he's opening and calling three bit with four bit and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, we also have that for all positions. Uh, here is aggression factor and uh, uh, with aggression factor we have just a minute to, to turn it off. Uh, with the aggression factor we have a 4-bit, uh, we have a or bet pop-up uh, next to it so when we click here we can see how player reacts to overbet when he is out of position how he reacts to overbets in position with uh, which hands he calls overbet with we just click here and we see uh, we can see here uh, to see the context we see the boards we see the with type of the situation that was so we can probably uh, really knew his uh, his strategy when we when we click here uh, we can see how he's uh, how is he overbetting which hand he's overbetting with um, does, does he follow on river does he fall to raise uh, what he's overbetting river with and stuff like that you got here graphs also and you can click like this uh, and you will see see all context at hands you will see the flop turn river and you can uh, really easily connect here to see what what hands did he play this way or that way and and stuff like that we see that he has a check fold really high here and he's uh, I will okay he's calling mainly strong hands and folding rest I'm gonna check here I think it's too strong 
to, to, to bat. And when, now we, see, we can see what he's delay sibiting with. He's delay sibiting uh, 50%. We can see delay sibiting range. He, we see that he doesn't have any bluffs. He, he has middle pairs plus uh, and uh, strong top pairs and strong hands. So we're going to fold here. Uh, next uh, we have a uh, sibeting uh, studs, sibet uh, out of position, double barrel out of position and triple barrel out of position and same stats in position. And next to it uh, we are connected with, uh, uh, next to it we are connected with um, sibet uh, pop-up out of position sib uh, single raise pot where we see uh, what he's sibeting with, on which boards he's sibeting with and stuff like that. And we can see that for in position and out of position. This is in position, start, see, but in position, double barrel, in position, and triple barrel. Here we see no, uh, nope. It's no bad situation. Uh, it's, it's a no bad situation. And uh, usually this means uh, what he's doing with he's checking the flop out of position as a razor. So this uh, means how much he's check folding. This means how much he's falling when he's double checked as a razor out of position and when he's triple checked out of position as a razor. This means fold versus donk and this means a check fold in position. So it means when he checked the flop how much he's falling on turn to step. And this means when he's uh, double checked flop and turned in position how much he's falling in the river. Next to it is also connected with uh, uh, is connected with um, with pop-ups, you, you can see here uh, which his uh, delay C bet, uh, how much he check, check, check falls. You can see which hands he's calling in that spot. Uh, so you got uh, all step, all all uh, situations are covered with with the pop-ups. You see here it's a uh, versus C bet states. It's a uh, fold versus C bet out of the position, fold to double barrel and fold to triple barrel and same stats is in position okay we're gonna move tables a little bit okay okay we're gonna trim it here just to move, I see that maybe it's not so good. Okay, I think now it's a little bit better. Uh, we have a tribut here. Okay, uh, so we will stop here, and also uh, all the uh, pop-ups are connected with with the, with the start. So if we click here, we will see uh, what hands he is folding. We will see. Oh, we will see which. Which which hands he's calling the seabed, calling the turn, calling the river, how much he's folding on certain boards, uh, and, and stuff like that. This guy's forbidding us. Okay. Uh, he's forbidding range. Queens. We're gonna call here. Okay. We're gonna check here. This guy forbids. And he doesn't fall to five bit. Okay, I'm gonna fold here because we don't have dynamics here. Okay. Uh, we have a queen here. We have king queen here. We have jack x. Some some of jack x. So I'm gonna call here. I think a queen is. It can be also ship. But we have like, uh, I don't know, Jack Queen, King Jack suited. We don't want to, we don't want to uh, ship with that hand sweep. So we're gonna have a call range here. I think Jacks are pretty, pretty safe and pretty good call here. And he's shoving Queens here. I don't understand that play, but okay. Okay, so, uh, this guy, uh, this guy call, uh, call big one versus middle position. He falls to see bit forty eight percent. He falls on the turn fifty percent. Okay, we, we can see uh, how much he's falling on thirty uh, one 
third of the pot, 36 percent. Okay, so he he in this pot, um, it's not calling really. I mean, stuff like no equity hands. So, so. okay, uh, we will uh, just uh, finish the hard explanation. This is step uh, out of position. Okay, uh, I'm gonna fold here. Okay, I'm gonna fold here. Uh, just to see the chat. Okay, okay. Uh, just, 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 to just to finish the hard explanation so we can move forward. This is the step. step. This is dong flop because we are out of position. Step out of position. It's a it's a donk. This is step uh, uh, out of when we are out of position. The flop goes check check and we are in the turn, stepping the turn out of position. And this, this is step river out of position. This is step in position. Step uh, uh, step uh, in position uh, as a as a caller. Uh, this is step turn in position and step river. And uh, down there we have, we have fold versus delay. C bet starts uh, fold versus delay. C bet out, out of position. Call delay, see bet out of position and fold the river and uh, fold when he is uh, as the caller checked uh, three times how much he falls. This is the same thing when he's in position, how much he falls to delay, see bet, how much he calls delay, see bet and falls river and how much he falls when he double checked. Okay, so we're gonna trip it here. Today we're gonna trip it uh, black ones. Okay, uh, we 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 tribute black ones here. Uh, this guy falls to fifty one percent out of the position. Uh, we can see a cutter versus a button calling range nine ten five six eight. I mean it's pretty standard range. I see. We 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 can safely say that he's probably calling fourteen percent out of position in this spot. Like. Uh, uh, King nine, uh, queen nine, jack nine suited hands, uh, the, the worst and the suited connectors, and uh, ace jack is his I think first uh, off ace. He falls probably ace ten off. Okay, we're gonna see how much he falls out of position here. He he didn't float no equity I see. So he has gutters. Okay, all equity stats. Okay, uh, we we want to check a lot here. We want to see how much he falls on the turn. Okay, this is we can bet we can check. I'm gonna bet because uh, um, I would check like better hands. This is like probably the worst hand, but it has some equity, so I'm gonna. So I'm gonna bet bet the turn with. I see that he's falling 33%. So he won't fold pocket pairs with with the diamonds, but he'll fold like probably sevens without the diamonds, nine without the diamonds, and that's that's okay for us uh, also. Okay. So against this guy, mm, we we bet the flop. Uh, he called uh, multi way. We're gonna see multi way how much he falls as in position. He falls a lot, so. I think he doesn't have many backdoor uh, spades only with with the nine in it. Uh, so I'm gonna bet pretty small. I think that he's probably range are like seven. I mean maybe he falls sense maybe like uh, nine ten jack nine type of hands. Uh, I don't think that he has many aces also. So, so we're gonna bet one third here. I think it's it's okay size. Uh, we can go bigger, but with, with this hand, I would like to go smaller. He had Jack Jack eight, so it's okay. Uh, I mean, this is close to spot. If we if we he, if we play here, we, we're gonna check raise the hand. We don't have anything about this player, so when I don't have anything, I would fold. If I had backdoor uh, hearts, I would check raise this. But I'm gonna fold here. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna call here. We can we can trip it. 
but I, I, I retrieve it 4, 6, not 3, 6. Okay, he, he opens the button 50%, so we see here that he's opening 50%. We can see which hands are, which hands are in that area. So we see that he opening is king 7 offsuited, king 8 offsuited a lot, so it's probably a lot more than 50%, 50% has only king 9 off. So I would say that he's opening like probably 60% here. Uh, when he checks three times, we can see that he's not folding a lot. So we can see when go check, 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 he rarely bets. So we can go to showdown. We can see what he's uh, calling here. So he, he called ace highs here. I don't think we need to bluff this hand. And uh, I think uh, we are, uh, we're going to check here. If he bets, it's pretty... Uh, interesting because uh, I don't think that this type of player will will uh, transfer ace into the into bluff. Okay, so I would probably fold. I would probably fold if he bet. Okay, two three is a check here. Yeah, so it's a check. We're gonna trip it. We see that this player is folding only thirty five percent, so we're gonna trip it. Uh, uh, he calls really, really light. Okay, we're gonna increase our size here. Uh, we're gonna increase our size here. He's calling like a six off and stuff like that. So we played with this, this guy yesterday. This guy checked the checked the top set on the river, and then uh, then like. Uh, uh, Bet stab and bet twice with uh, with with uh, with uh, pocket pair below middle pair and stuff like that. We're gonna ship here. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know what he has here. Probably aces from this. I don't see what he had. He had aces. Okay. So he used interesting size here i don't know what, why didn't he rebuy us uh, re rebuy us at the fools but okay this hand is uh, either way we're going to trip it here because he fall uh, he doesn't fold a lot on trivet so we're going to trip it here okay he had the aces and he used a really interesting size he forbid us i mean only only 2x if i'm not mistaken Okay, really good flop here. We can call, we can trip it here. I think it's everything is okay. We're gonna bet here one third. Okay, we're gonna bet here one third. We're gonna see his he's falling forty percent. I'm gonna see his calling range. Okay, he even float with nothing here. I wanna see what type of nothing he had okay he had like back doors okay uh, I see that he's uh, not falling turn a lot okay I'm gonna check here uh, here this guy for bit was twice till now Okay, king queen. It's all premium hands. We can defend like king ten. I don't think we can we can defend king nine against so tight range. Okay, I'm gonna fold here. Okay, so this, this guy now bets really big. Okay, I'm gonna see just his step river frequencies. In tribute pots trips. Two pair mid straight. Okay, he's probably just. I because I don't I don't think that he's betting eight x here. So I was thinking about calling because I saw that he has some hands like uh, maybe he floated there jack ten on low board. I don't think that he'll float like nine ten or uh, queen ten or stuff like that here against us out of position. But it's it's a. Uh, 
possibility and when I see his uh, step the river frequencies in tribute pots we see his step river it's all strong hands uh, but he steps river, river a lot so I think we could call Ajak here to be honest I think it's it's, it's okay but by doing that, I would have to admit that he's uh, floating the flop of the position versus us pretty light. And that could that could happen, I think. I mean, he don't know us how we play. Uh, we played just yesterday, I, know, I mean, maybe 200 hands or something like that. Okay. Uh, I want to tell you uh, that the... Um, also, we have one, one another pop-up. It's regarding cold calling tribet, cold four bet things in squeeze and versus squeeze. We can see all data here how he, how players play in that spot. And we have one more really cool pop-up that I didn't uh, show you. I, I didn't show you a few of those, but one is really good. It's regard. It's uh, implying on river river bet out of position, in position, and we, we can see his here sizing tells of all players how much he is strong when he bets 95% plus, uh, when he bets normal size, when he bet the turn, when he called the turn, when he checked the turn, we got all possible uh, all possible scenarios of what, what, what could happen and uh, uh, we can see exactly how people have bet sizing details and all people have that those okay i'm not gonna gonna bet here with this hand multi way okay uh here is okay to bet it i mean we, we must we must at least call here i'm ticking if we raise we wrap six six here here and that's that's it. And we can have we can have here like we can have here like hands like sevens. We can have here hands like nines. We can have here like uh, of of course flush draws here with with hearts, but also we can have here like hand with, with uh, I don't know I think I don't think that we have a king ever. I'm gonna fold here. That's why I don't like this play a lot. Um, I think the better play is here to raise and rep 6-6. Six, six. I mean, it's it's probably the only hand we are wrapping it, but uh, uh, call uh, looks like we are on flush draw and people will always see us as a flush draw on the, on the turn. So I know that we got some low pocket pairs, but I think against those players, we can that pocket pairs like 7s like and 9s we could uh, we could do so against these players bet bet it so i'm not sure okay this this we don't have much info about this guy but he's falling 67 percent uh, but we see that he called the flop with ace high so he floated the flop with the ace even it's a good float i'm gonna bet once more here with smaller size Okay, and the worst possible river is here. Uh, I think that's a real possibility that he has 9x here, and I don't know if, if he's gonna fold uh, 9x here on our bet. Uh, he can have backdoors probably also with uh, with 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 spades. Because he's probably floating ace 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 a six uh, of spade here. I'm gonna go up here because I don't know anything about him, so it's okay to to give up. He called ace queen. Okay, we're gonna tribute here. I mean, we've tribute this guy four times now, and uh, he forbid us two or three times here. Uh, this hand is, I think, okay shove, bluff shove. I don't know, is it okay from these positions? 
but I see that he's opening 20%, so I think that he will have to have like bluff range here. Also, like maybe he has ace 10 off, so he probably forbids that. And he's a bluff. Uh, here, I think uh, uh, we see that he fall, did he called? I'm gonna orbit here. Okay, this is just a call with queen seven. Okay, he folded. I would check crazy if I had like backdoors, but I think we need to call here. I don't see, I, I see that he's not double barreling a lot, but we don't, it's not much of the hands. So, I mean, this guy just looks like, like a passive player. Okay, we're gonna bet here for sure. Well, we're gonna wrap the straight here. We have some straights, we have four, five. We have four six, we have pocket fours. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna over bet here. We're gonna wrap the straight here. And usually when people check the turn here they are weak, so I over bet because I didn't want to see to see a quality is high. Okay, he's he's uh, opening twenty percent here. Uh uh, we're gonna call here. We can also trip it, but I, I'm gonna call. Okay, so now is fold here. We're gonna bet small here. Okay, so what I'm looking now, I'm I'm interested to see or which bluffs he 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 has here. Uh, uh, he has C bet of uh, 67%. That means that he's C betting most of his range here. He opens like ace 10 off plus he has king jack. Uh, he doesn't have, unfortunately, uh, hands like uh, uh, hands like queen 9, even uh, I mean king 9 uh, or jack 9 off. He doesn't have that hand, so he, so he doesn't have that bluffs. Uh, okay. Here, uh, I think that he would bet the 10x on the turn. Here we see his double barrel and range. And I see a couple of middle pairs. Uh, I think it's okay to check, it's okay to bet here. Uh, what, I, what would I like to see, how much he, he folds this line when he bets and uh, uh, um, checks the flops, how much he folds on river so we could we could we could check that stat but generally uh, I think that uh, we can even, we could even value bet here okay he had king five so it's not important uh, uh, I'm going to try to to, to show you the pop-ups when we have a situation for it so for example uh, I'm going to trip it now and we're gonna see immediately how he reacts and we're gonna open that pop-up so we see that uh, he opened early middle position we are attributing him from cut for button in this situation it's a it's a it's a it's a cutoff I think and his call range we see King Jack off okay okay oh, he's he's gonna call pretty light here I think so here we're gonna call we're not going to show here, we're going to call with bit a lot, we're going to need to defend a lot of orbits, so I'm going to call with aces here. And we hit the nuts. Uh, uh, I'm going to fold here without the spade. Uh, we can uh, see his forbet pop up and we see that he he see bet till now he see bet ace, ace high flop. Now he checked. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna bet here. One third. We have like ace queen here. We have a ace jack here. He checked. We're gonna see how he reacts when the hand is checked. Okay, 
skip cbet and check fold so when he's checking he's mainly check folding there's a merit we can say that we, we can uh, check behind here but we have ace three suited here i was i would call forward with uh, ace deuce till ace five we have ace queen all combos here we have even some ace king sometimes uh so i think we can bet but if i just uh, saw that he i mean he check folds here a lot also so he probably has a weak weak uh, weak uh, check call range so we could check behind here okay we're gonna bet one third here he's calling big blind versus early position so we can see uh the hands that he range that he's calling okay okay he's not calling really light i mean it's uh it's good hands stronger range than usual i think okay i mm, think we can go either way I, I think i would bet here because uh, uh i would bet here because uh, I don't see that he's floating a lot, so he doesn't have many ace here, ace x hands here. That's the mainly reason I, I I double barrel. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna bet normal size here. Uh, uh, he's betting five x here. Okay, he's wrapping uh, two pair with ace, and that's interesting because he doesn't have a ace four, ace six. Uh, off he doesn't call off so he is wrapping really small here he's wrapping uh, six combos here i would never fold like a6 here in this spot because if we block ace we block his value range so maybe he's tricky so he called like slow plate here we don't know that but uh, generally uh, against dynamic uh, that we had here I think that he would check raise for sure so uh, on the turn he's wrapping a really 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 narrow range he's wrapping ace 3 he's wrapping here uh, he's wrapping ace 4 and ace 6 and he only has suited hands okay I'm gonna see the chat okay okay i put the chat on the laptop okay And this is this is spots I don't like when people are short and like I see probably tight. Let me see what he's opening middle position with. We don't have hands. I think it's too strong to fold on the button. This guy squeezes, and we can see he's here is squeeze. Uh, squeeze the pop up. We can see what his his squeeze range. His squeeze range is pretty strong. I would call queen seven here. Uh, his, his his squeeze range is call is, is is really strong. I mean his his uh, three betting small blind versus button nine percent. He's squeezing probably six here, like six percent there. Uh, nines plus ace king and ace queen off and best suited broadways okay queen eight is open here small bind versus i'm Small burn versus cut of eight percent. 
this can be four bet here, but this guy is really tight. I played him with him a lot, so I'm gonna fold here. Queen knight, I, queen nine, I would call. We're gonna trivet this guy again. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna now squeeze it. We're gonna squeeze it like uh, this. A six here is open. We can see his how he's reacting to squeezes. Where's the squeeze? He is the earlier middle position falls 56 percent we can see call range here but unfortunately we don't have a data so we don't know what with what he's calling we can just make assumptions i see that he's not falling a lot in tribute so this is not good this isn't good i'm gonna fall At least we will see. I mean, he called what he. Okay, I'm gonna put it little. Okay, he has nines. Okay. Nines and eights, okay. This is open. This is interesting. He check raises here. Okay, he he wraps the straight here. Uh, just thinking if we can call here. He's check raising strength on the turn. I mean he has bluffs, but I don't think that he has bluffs here. So if we call here, we are calling just to get the flush. And against him, I think that if we get the flush, we will get all, all the money in here. That's the only reason I called because I know him and he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't uh, fold the river. If the flush hits, he would never fold the straight. So the reason why I called because of the implied odds. I will fold now. The only thing we can do here is like shove but he's not falling so okay. I mean this guy loses like 67 big blinds so okay. Here we can open multi-way pop-up just to see how much how he reacts on uh, he check faults really a lot. That's okay. And we see his his calling range at top pair and pair plus. I think this hand is okay to bet. I wanted to bet here. I I, I thought this hand is okay to bet because uh, this guy will play honestly on small blind and he has like 10x. He Probably he has ace 10, king 10 of, like he he calls small blind 12% and he tributes. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna call here. I think I'm I, I'm gonna bet here. Runs 100. Okay, I'm gonna fold here. And this is the mistake here because I, I should bet the flop. On the turn, I think uh, when when this guy steps, he has a lot of draws also, so we can take the the hand on the river. But I mean, it's not it's not good play. The best play is to just bet the flop if we want to play the hand because. Here is also calling weak play, and I made mistake because I didn't bet the flop here. 
I, I just started playing on Duff a bit. I just started playing on Duff a bit, but it's eye poker. It's the same field as an eye poker. So, I don't know. Yes, eye poker has a lot of bots. A lot of bots. Uh, on, now on the tables, there is no... Neither of them, I don't see. I don't see them, but uh, there is like five, six of uh, bots that play all the time. But this is the time that I don't play. I start playing uh, uh, like twelve o'clock uh, at, at midnight, and uh, so they probably sh aren't here yet. Because usually when I play, they are here. Okay, King Six is called. Uh, Jack seven is also called here. Okay, he, he on, on this type of board he needs to have like a bigger size and a lot of, of, of we don't have here tens, we don't have kings, we have king ten, we have king six and six. Uh, we're gonna want to defend lot a lot or a lot with calling, so I'm gonna call here and I see that he's double barreling a lot, so okay. He doesn't have seven nine off. That's okay. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna can raise here probably, but it's too strong. I want to call. I see that he's ne never triple barreling here. We're gonna see here. We can see his triple triple barrel barrel range. Hmm, this this is. I'm thinking just calling now. One, I don't think he's got seven nine off. So, so just suited. Well, I'm gonna call here. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I I was gonna sh to shove the river, but he only on six k hands he's triple barreling thirteen percent. So in my, my uh, mind, I thought that king queen and king jack is. Uh, 100% check here against this type of player. If I saw like 40%, I would shove the hand. But and I didn't play with this guy, so maybe mistake by me, but I'm not, not sure. I would. I was thinking that for sure he would. This type of player that. that it would uh, like check the river, 13% on the river and 45% on the turn. I, I, I just expect that he would probably like check ace king. Okay. We're gonna know that for 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 uh, for the future. Maybe tight call by me, but when I see the, when I see stats like this, I'm not comfortable to shove there because. I mean, he can he he can have. I he can only have seven nine of suited. I know that, but um, I see that he's check falling really a lot. So we're gonna see what he's check calling with. Here we can see his check call range: top pair gacha, top pair high kicker, top pair middle kicker. So I don't think that he has like king x ever here. I'm gonna bet once more here. Only king, king, uh, the uh, king uh, that he has is a king jack, but he bet there king queen, so he would probably bet king jack here. A uh, king eight uh, is also su only suited version, and now he check raises here. And I don't know if he bet like. He would play kings this way. I'm gonna call here. Oh wow, this is not good. But also, I, I don't know if he can have like Aces with the hearts. I mean, I can I can fold here to pair. So 
it's not important, but okay, he had it. Because uh, King King doesn't have any sense. He he bet that hand with King Queen. We block Jack Jack. We block Jack Jack here. Okay. check behind here we block jack jack in this spot so uh, um, I see that he's check folding a lot here but I think that he can have like hand like ace8 ace4 of hearts I don't know if we check raise there and when the 10 come it's tricky because uh, we don't have any ace queens left and like I'm, I'm thinking for sure that he doesn't uh, play ace queen this way so on the river he's just wrapping set here and uh, we block jack jack so he's wrapping fours and eights and i think that he wouldn't play uh king jack this way so he's wrapping like just four fours and eight that's like six combos and we need to find on the river three bluffs Okay. I'm gonna fold here. We're gonna f we we need to find only 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 three bluffs on the river. So if he if he has like hand like uh, if he has a hand like uh, I mean from I I think that he he, he can turn like uh, something into blah I don't know this player but when somebody wraps really small range on the river I'm usually not folding like two pairs here so and I don't know him how he plays maybe we could fall, fall the turn but on the river I don't think we can fold okay But okay, we, we, we now know that he double, triple barrel king queen there. We have like infos. I'm gonna write it uh, into the uh, reads. So it will be okay. We can see just multi way quickly how much he falls. As a caller, he falls 60%. Okay, his calling range in position is pretty wide. like. He probably calls like 24%. Okay. He doesn't fold a lot of lot on the turn. This guy when ships, he has ace king at least. I'm gonna bet like like this. He doesn't fold a lot. And I think that uh, from what I see, he calls really a lot. He calls like weak king suited. He has off king suited. I'm gonna bet like pot here. I think it's okay. I think it's a good size. Like I said, he has ace king at least. I'm really surprised even to see ace king. Just to see what what he he has he had king and queen. Okay. This is check here. Okay. Just to see the chat. Okay, queen four check, is five bet, raise, we will bet here. Okay, so when we when we have this situation, I will open the pop-up, here is a bet, ace ten is a call, 
uh, history of okay I'm gonna fold here check fold uh, 48% it's not big so he has uh, okay probably check range check check fold turn 48% Okay, we can we can go either way here. I'm gonna bet here, but it's okay to check. It's okay to even to check here. He probably has 10x in his uh, checking range. This is not greatest river. Okay. But I also think that this this hand is really good to turn it to bluff here. And I know this guy is tight, and he could he can fold here, like nine x here. So it's okay. It's it's okay situation. We're gonna trip it here. We see that he guys this guy folded every time in, into the position. So we should go with smaller size here. But okay, this guy calls big blind versus small blind. So we can see here what when he calls what type of range he's calling with okay this is faulted trivet okay we're gonna bet small here this is the I mean call we don't we, we can do anything and we need to ship this okay this is bad we, we need to ship here so this is ship here okay we'll have seven eight eight nine here we will have a seven we'll have nines here this is for me ship okay he had bluff range and I think that he should that he should check a lot here really a lot I mean good player would check Really, really a lot here. Okay. We'll get, we are getting into it. Okay. He's tributing. We see, we can see small bet versus bad in his tributing range. Fold to four bet. We see that he folds a lot of four bet. So he probably has some hands that can call four bet. Okay. We see a screen here. So he probably doesn't have age jack. That, that means that he has cold range for small blind, and we see that's the truth. So he probably ha doesn't have age jack here. Uh, this hand, uh, I will see what he's do does. He double barrel a lot and check fold a lot. Okay, I'm gonna fold here because he would probably bet. I wouldn't fold if I had backdoors here for sure, but. I'm gonna fold this hand. I was thinking because if he doesn't uh, double barrel a lot, but this type of player would like bet nines, uh, nines here, two times. So okay. Uh, okay. We can check. We can bet here. This player doesn't fold a lot and he has a really wide range so that's going for a bet if he bet if you bet here we want to bet big on pair boards and I see that this guy he's calling three bets really light I mean he's calling like off aces and stuff like that so I guess this type of players you need to bet most of your range uh, in Okay, he called now, and we see like this is the player that call. Uh, this is player that calls uh, thirty percent here. He has king four suited plus here. Uh, so we're gonna bet here. Uh, we see that he's falling forty seven percent. So he's probably uh, okay. He's he raising. He raises here. We can see what type of hands he raised with. He raised the top pair high top pair here and straight draw okay we're gonna call here 
I think it's okay. I was thinking uh, against such a range, can we like trip at the flop with? I'm gonna show here. I mean, I know it looks like really, really, really strong, but we can have some bluffs here, like ace jack of spades, ace ten of spades. So I'm gonna show here. Okay. We're gonna bet here. I'm gonna check behind here. Okay, he has he have him king queen here. And I want to tell you that um, wow, this is. This is strange, and this size is crazy. Like, I mean, this guy looks so tight to me. Does he, does he has like have like Jack X here? I mean, I I like H Jack would he raise like this? One call. Okay, he has two pairs. I think that we need to call on turn. We don't know how he plays, so uh, we saw that uh, just to, to have like bigger size here. We have the odds to call if we, we saw his hand. So on the turn, and I'm not prepared. Prepare to fall like or bet it's really easy or pair <laughs> really easy especially to an unknown player that seems like a fish okay we need to bet here most of our range so we're gonna bet it this guy also doesn't fall to three bets he he calls here like ace two off ace seven off ace four off stuff like that so i think it's okay i think we, go, we can bet here once more against this type of player and check the river because he he will float here he will have reverse hands he will never fall the ace queen i know and on the river i don't think he will turn anything to bluff to to a bluff i play a lot lot nice squads thank you tens tens uh nine and tens are, are bad for me queens we can check but uh, i mean even queens have queens we can check but queens have queens have so much value also but okay, I wanted to tell you uh, about uh, that hand here. Uh, uh, we have queens, queen with 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 the back door. I don't see a way where we can fold, uh, where because we, we, he doesn't have jacks, he doesn't have tens, so he has fives, and I don't think that fives go for such large size that he he like check raised five x, so. We could do play like shove on the flop, but I don't see I don't see myself fold or pair. Yes, you, I, Ivan, I can see, I can see what he had. Okay, we call here. We got a tribute here. Um, uh, this guy doesn't step a lot and fold a lot of delay C, but so against. This type of player will have a strategy. Okay, just to see. We'll check here and try to steal the pot later. Uh, this guy called four bets and he, he can do this with. Call. Okay, he didn't call four bet. Okay, I'm gonna call here. I'm gonna fall. He doesn't step a lot, so my plan was against these type of players. We can like save on our bluffs, like uh, go for, for delay C bits, and he delays C bit and fold river a lot. So against these type of players, uh, against, against these type of players, I would do that. Just save on our bluffs. Uh, here we can see his check fold. We could we could maybe try to make a play, but I don't think uh, he doesn't check fold anything. So okay, I'm glad. We we're gonna see the showdown here. He had eights, okay. Uh, six nine is a fault. It's 
So. Okay, King six, King six is open. This is fold. We can go for check raise here, but this guy doesn't step a lot. He stepped 39 percent here. And it's even multi-way, we can see in multi-way pop-up how much he steps here. Step and fold versus check raise, nothing. Step 41% and we can see the range, strong range. So against this player, this type of player, uh, we're not going to check raise hand like that has like only gotcha equity and backdoor equity. He doesn't ever, he, he doesn't fold at all. So, okay. Uh, here we can we can bet he doesn't fold. Okay, uh, we're gonna bet here. We can overbet also. We don't have a stats for overbet, but we see that he did overbet the turn a little over pot. Okay, uh, we're gonna tribute our friend Baphomet who forbet us three times. Okay. Okay. We will see what will happen. I think that we have like some dynamics here with with players. That's okay, especially with uh, uh, with our friend here. One way to rampage. And I also want to talk to about badges. These badges are so cool because we have like so many weighted things to 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 look from. For example, here we see a player who will call when flush hits on the turn. He will call frequently on the turn, but he will fold the river a lot. So when flush hits and you bet the turn against this player, you want want to bet the river with all of your range. Uh, uh, for example, then we have like check fold when flush misses when flush misses the river. He check faults a lot. So when flush misses, we, we, we should uh, also be like against this player betting with all of our range. Because he faults uh, 70%. And if we bet like, uh, I don't know, pot, he needs to fold 50%. If we bet third, third, third quarter of the pot, he will need to fold like only 42%. So if he folds 70%, we have like so much value in betting all of our range. Uh, and we hit the top set. That's good. Let's see his trivet, his squeezing range, and his squeezing range versus cut of button tens plus jacks. Plus. I mean, this this guy is very well heavy. No matter, we, we won't have a raise range here. This is very bad here. We won't have a raise range. Doesn't have sense. Okay. Let's see his uh, check fault. Figure out the size. One hundred percent till now. Okay. okay, I'm gonna bet like small here. I mean, we can even check here. We have like middle. We can, we can, I'm gonna bet like really small for protection. I mean, I think we can do this like with sevens, like nines or stuff like that. But I would bet generally against players who have like check false stats a lot. I would generally bet for. I would generally bet. I would generally bet uh, real small for protection, and with value hands also to invite them to call. But uh, when they check fall, they they just didn't don't have a balanced range, and I think again we need to tribute the Baphomet. And we're gonna get the four bet one hundred percent here.
they restricted only only USA. All, all other countries can play at Super Sport. Okay, so we're gonna get the four at one hundred percent here. He just called. It's so strange. It's so strange. Uh, we can see like four bet. What he's calling for. Four bet. We are a little bit deep, but not deep, deep enough. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna bet here with uh, more than uh, usual size because okay because we are deep. Uh, usual size would be one third of the pot here. We're gonna hear bet like. 45% of the pot. I think it's okay. This is famous Croatian actress playing on Super Sport. An influencer, if you heard for her. I didn't. Uh, I think. I think we should bet here when people like check, and we have like some equity. So I, I won't call nine high, but I should have bet it. Okay. Now we see that Baphomet didn't uh, forbid us for three hands, so he probably did get a good run of cards. He didn't play back at us without anything, probably. King nine, so open, and I mean it's on these boards we need to have like big C, but especially with hand like that uh, we need to have a like, like a big frequency of a C bet. We're gonna bet here. He calls big, big blind versus small blind. I mean it's narrow range. From what I see, okay, he has all aces, and he probably will call all aces. Okay, okay we're gonna. I think I'm gonna double barrel here. He falls turn 60%. I'm gonna double barrel here, like this. Uh, we will see if he. Okay, I, I didn't see quite clear. I thought that this is the CBIT stats, but there's no bad stats. Okay. We don't. We can do nothing here. We're gonna fold. I thought that uh, okay now when I see that he's falling 37% on the turn and 0% on the river, it's probably not the smart thing. Okay, we're gonna bet here. We can bet a6. We have seven x in our range. We can mix some orbits also. Okay, he called with king eight, I think. Okay. So now, now we could see when he's triple checking that he's not falling a lot. He he triple checks and falls thirty three percent. When he he double checks, he falls river. So when he called, he called here like ace high. So I should see the HUD uh, earlier and or bet the river here because uh, he's not falling. Folding, not falling, uh, not falling at all. It seems okay. Uh, uh, big blind versus early position. He has like thirty-five percent of range. I think we see king eight here in this range. He probably his king nine or something. Uh, in this spot, I'm gonna have like uh, I'm gonna have like uh, when we have more money uh, I'm gonna have like 150 blinds I'm gonna I will not be exhibiting really frequently I'll have a check back range so and I will have a bigger size okay this is fold here this is fold there okay this guy folds to the lazy bits norm okay he has like really narrow range here. Probably poker pocket pairs and pocket pairs and uh, pocket pairs and broadways. So when he checked the flop, I don't think that he has straight that he has like flush ever. 
but he steps like 6%, he can even check back. Normal player shouldn't have straight, uh, shouldn't have flush in this spot, but it's circling the possibility that this player has it. He has 6, six, six in his range, he has 7-7 seven, seven in his range for sure. Uh, and he has bust flush draws like queen jack and he doesn't step river at all i mean against him i, I would fault he's not even really aggressive so and i think, think that he can value bet six that he can value bet here like uh, sixes without without problems I think it's it's really she. She I know that she plays poker. Uh, she played live in, in in Zagreb also. So I really think that 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 that's her. And from the place I I saw, I also think that that is her. Okay, I'm gonna double barrel here. This guy will is fish. He calls like fifty percent. He will have like all. All, all possible. Yeah, I would like to show here, but he would call with 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 a better blocker with king. I see that he's. We can see he here his check raising frequency. He showed us a flush, okay. He check raises 20% and the uh, check raise trend is minus 37%. What that tells me that he has like probably a big bluff range. He showed 7, 7 10 of spade, he showed, uh, but he showed 7 10 of spade, but uh, no matter that, I think uh, that he's have, he, he bluffs that spot probably also. so. But with with queen ten, if we get sh if we show and he calls with king x, that's like disaster for us. Okay, we here like float this. I played with this guy a lot, and he doesn't trust us, but he doesn't know us. He just see a new nickname and new players, so that's good for us. Okay, let me check here. I don't like this size. He falls in lacy, but also when lacy with it. I'm gonna call here once more. We have a hard blocker. Okay, and I'm gonna bet small here. Okay, I'm gonna bet small here. I'm gonna bet like half of the pot here. I'm gonna call here. I'm gonna show here. Okay, so we don't have hand now. Okay, this is not good here. This is the worst river here. But I will. I didn't know that I didn't have any time, but also I think that he would need to continue with 10x. What I'm afraid is like 7-8 uh, type of hand, 7-8 and 8-9, because that has sense to raise in his head probably. 
So he can really bet two pairs on the river. I think it's it's close and he doesn't know us so it's a okay fault but I don't know. It sound I, I would just like to call here with kings. Cause when we check like, like we probably bet most of our most of our uh, straights and when we check we need to defend like at least 50% I, I didn't know how much he bet on the real but we need if he bet like I don't know maybe he bet even have the pot we need to bet like we, we need to defend like 67% of our range and if we fold kings I don't know okay And what what I was trying to say, I know that Sonia Coach is really tight. That's why I folded her really strong hand that I wouldn't fold to anyone. But I I I played with her and she's really really tight. Okay, he called and we can see uh, in position versus early position. He calls nine percent and he tributes six seventy percent, so it's sixty percent of the hands. Okay, he has pairs, big broadways, and a couple of suited connectors with gappers. Okay, so it's nice to know this because he doesn't have tens, he doesn't have uh, kings, he has twos, and king ten probably just suited. I don't think he's calling king ten off, so we are in pretty good shape. We'll see Baphomet what he does. He folds, okay. Okay. Uh, we have uh, also uh, this badge. When, now, when you're talking about badges, uh, this badge is for me like greatest. Uh, check call, check fold. Um, you want to identify these players because this is like pure hotspot. Players who, who uh, check call uh, check call the turn and check fall the river like uh, they are losing so much money that, that that's like insane because that's like most unprofitable way to play poker uh, in tribute pots check call the turn and check fall the river you didn't even see what he had you call and fall the river that's like the worst thing you can do and players do that because they see it a lot and on the turn they have a lot of medium hands so uh, we want to identify these players and always bet the river against them that's like number one rule um, and we have badge for that and for the single race spot okay uh, this guy called a tri called uh, a tree but he doesn't fold like check calling these highs and stuff like that because so he will call pairs he will call gut shots and now he check raises okay we're gonna see what he's done did he check it he check raised two times 33 percent we don't see the hands with his i mean we, we have like just call i don't like these sizes when fishes like go with this size they're when they bluff, they just bomb it. <laughs> and uh, Jack is in boy better. Okay, we see that he had. Okay, top pair. Top pair. Okay. I didn't see that we have stats. We have stats. I just saw that we have stats. That he's like top pair heavy, okay. So I'm okay with fold there, and also we have like better, better hands for sure. 10 is not good in that, that spot, also. Okay, we're gonna bet here. We're gonna bet here. 
talán Sönekovac is so tight, so... She doesn't have any much of the A6 hands. She, she folds like ace queen without blockers, ace jack without blockers. She even folds ace 10 off pre flop, so. Okay. And also we have like a fold versus raise stats. It's pretty cool. Bet River and fold versus raise. I really like the, that page also. Okay, here we bet one third. We're gonna bet normal size here. He calls big blind versus small blind. He has around 60% so he has all suited hands here. Okay. Uh, Important in this spot is to know is if he, does he have king queen in his range? Does he tribute king queen? If he tributes king queen, then we have easy orbit every time with a lot of bluffs. Also, we have like many king x hands and queen x hands that we can play this way. And he called here. Okay, we're gonna we will see now he's calling. Orbit on the turn size. Okay. We're gonna bet here like this. Okay, we're gonna bet against him again. He's never folding anything on the turn. Okay. And this guy, I, I don't think that he's bluffing here ever. Just gonna see this. Raise the turn. I'm gonna fold here against him. And I didn't know that we are, we're gonna lose the bank here. He should like uh, change some something into bluff here for us to to like like can like jack uh, king jack of, or something into bluff but i don't think this player does that especially we are unknown to him i know him how he plays he will never never against orbit on the turn and uh, uh pot on the river that he will like uh shove with uh, to turn hand into bluff, it's impossible for him, I'm sure. Just impossible for him to do that. And he has like jack 10, he has 8 10 off, it's important to know. He has all combos of ace 10, and I don't think that he's changing ace x into bluff, so mm, he could change like uh, queen jack or king jack into bluff, but I know, I know that this player doesn't do that. So I think that uh, against him we have a fault here. And just to, to tell you, uh, I think that bet river in this spot should be with the aces always spot. Never, uh, never, never, never uh, go like uh, shot with the aces here. I think that it's really important to protect the range here with aces uh, when you bet like or bet turn and bet normal size on the river like pot or three quarters of the pot. I think it's must with aces, and I think, I think we can do that with uh, aces and tens. Jacks we can go to eights and jacks like or bet shove. Okay. but here I didn't like that I didn't have a time bank here that, that's not uh, I'm not happy about that here we're gonna play two, two street game bet turn and probably shove the river like I said bet turn and shove the river ok 
okay he has a skin uh what i need to say I did, this guy raised the turn uh i play with him really a lot he's like terrible player calling station and stuff like that and he did that twice so that's something new and, he, and i know he has like three four off probably in his range also so but he gave, gives us odds to call i mean if you hit the flush he will bet i think if we think that there's a chance that he's bluffing we should go and shove but i think there is more value of calling here because he doesn't bluff river a lot and uh, but he, he's capable what's worse he's capable of like playing 6x this way so he's raising for like, like raising to know what we have that's in his mind he raises here like 6x to see does we do we have like hand stronger than 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 he and when we call he puts us on a flash draw i mean that's his way of thinking so i don't know maybe we, if, if i i'm used that we have one min time bank here so if we, if i had one min bank we could probably do something but i lost uh, uh, time bank it was only a few seconds okay this is fault here I mean, I don't like to, to call here in this spot. This guy bets the turn to 72%. If I had like uh, uh, heart, we can like call and then uh, check raise on the turn if, if heart hits or something. But here we we just don't uh, don't have blockers, don't have anything, and he's double barreling a lot. So we'll, we will we will we will need to fold a lot of, a lot on the turn. So I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see his double barreling range here so we can see what he's double barreling with we see in this graph that this is the uh, this is the sizes and this is the strength what is higher it's higher strength what is lower it's lower lower strength so we, we, we see that this player is uh, okay here we call uh, we see that this player uh, like uh, double barrels with without anything okay um, we can raise here also i think we i will gonna raise here okay i'm gonna check here we have fives we have six we have five, five six suited we are deeper so we we can have like a raise range okay uh just to see small bang versus okay like six percent I mean that he's probably betting and calling a king here. Uh, I'm gonna bet here. We're gonna check now. I don't think uh, we can play it different. And he check a screen here. Okay. I'm cool with the hand. So he checked. I would like make a note here so uh, he will he would probably like bet ace king in this spot as a bluff I'm sure now if he checks like ace queen or okay I would uh, I will later when I go to HUD I will make a note of this I mean he must bet of course ace, uh, ace queen here I don't know why, why he's checking it because it's it's all, it, it can look like like we have like hand uh, eight nine we can have like eight nine of uh, of uh, combo draw here. Okay, 
no problem. I think that's okay. Uh, it's call mandatory call, but I think it's okay to raise some of the time because we can we can get the combo draw on the turn and we can uh, shove the turn. Uh, when we when we hit nine, it's I mean simple. We can we can just check it uh, because I I mean if he bet this king, he can fall this king on raise. So we are. Uh, we we are beating some of his hands, so that's good. We don't need to we don't need to bluff those. But if we get like combo draw, it's it's nice to to balance that combo draw with sets, so we can like five six some sometimes raise sets like one third of the time raise sets and raise uh, two pair. I think it's okay. We are deep and put a lot of pressure on. Him. Him. So, for example, if we ha if we hit like on the turn eight on the turn and we show, I don't know if he can call like his king and be happy about it, and he doesn't know how we play. So, and if we fall like ace king, it's it's okay. I'm gonna sm go for smaller size against Sonia Kovac. Here we can call. Okay, we're gonna bet here one third. And I don't think that he that she has any two X in, in in her range. So that that's really nice. Six is also nice for us. Uh, we're gonna bet like this and shove the river. She, she doesn't have any I think backdoors. Backdoor, backdoor uh, flush draws like only backdoor that he, she can have is like ace, ace of hearts, suited aces of hearts, and we're gonna show here. We're gonna show there. Okay, like I said, she's really tight, but. We are know that we are uh, at least at least we are drawing, but she she will call she would call with Ace Jack and they stand. Accent is okay, King Six is okay to fold. Okay, we are streaming. I think. For one hour and a half, and this is the last probe for tomorrow. I tried to explain the HUD tomorrow. I will also explain the HUD before we start to play, so you can follow. Of course, on the HUD you had like uh, many, uh, how do I say, uh, ma many stats that can show you what strategy you can use. For example, if you see stats like this, like falling a lot of delay CBs, and if you especially see that he's not stabbing a lot, that means that you don't need to uh, waste your CB on bluffs. You can just uh, have like delay CB in bluff range a lot versus the, those players, and you can strengthen your uh, CB range width. And you, you see that just from hard. For example, this guy just, he doesn't stab a lot, 44% like, it's not a lot, or this player steps 33%, then he falls on delay CB 69%. Against him, you check the flop with your like no equity hands, like nothing, and when he checks again, you can just profitably delay CB. And you have like steady delay CB and, and fall driver. And you click here, and you see that he's falling to delay CB 69%. And when he called delay CB on the turn, he checks falls the river 100%. And against those players, you can always see what he's calling uh, the lazy bets with. Okay, he's calling with top pair, with bottom pair, with uh, with uh, with bottom pair, with some type of ace highs. And generally, if they don't improve or 
they just will let go of even bottom pairs or, or ace highs and, again, and against these players without with your like worst hands you you can make them fold a lot of better hands uh, from you for, so for example if you are near bottom of your range they will like fold ace high it's, it's, it's a big deal it's a big deal if they fold bottom pair then you like, like uh, make your bluffs so much money that would usually uh, wouldn't earn anything so from the HUD you can just make like stuff like that, uh, no equity bluffs. For example, even this is like a big deal. Uh, he's folding when he's out of position, he doesn't uh, step river a lot. And when he's checking two times, uh, when he's checking three times, he folds 83% or, or here he folds 100% when he see it, when he checks uh, two times. So it's a big deal. Uh, you don't need to have anything just uh all what you have you can bet that's that's important thing you can bet everything okay our our friend forbet fold us uh we'll see what will happen now. okay he forbids we show here and he has kings too bad okay I mean, it's my he he forbid like forbid us like seven she six seven times. Tens are like great, and now we have suddenly we have time bank here. So crazy, so crazy. Okay, this is trivet. I'm gonna trivet here. Uh, this uh, five eight. It's close. I'm going to tribute him again. And this guy called called tribute. Okay. Not the greatest flop. Fold here. Thanks. I I don't know why I did I I can't even watch the stream on laptop. But I I'm sure that we'll uh, figure figure out what this is and we can make it uh, better for tomorrow. We're gonna play a little bit and uh, we're gonna uh, close it. Uh, I'm gonna fold here. I, I wanted to show you uh, more, 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 uh, more pop-ups, but we didn't have uh, really good opportunities to so to so why uh, that I can show you that. But every time that situation will be I will show you pop up what I'm looking at and you can see uh, I mean it's it's obvious from pop, from pop ups what 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 uh, you need to look it's so it's made so logically that you will know what you need to look it's mostly graphs definitions and it's easy from graphs it's so easy to read you can read like uh, context of the hand you can see flop uh, board turn river you see sizes from graphs and it's really easy to to know uh, it's really easy to know how how you need, how, how the hand had, has played out so and i think that's really important to know and in graphs you you uh, in uh, much less time you 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 see uh, a lot okay i'm going to fold here i i Tribute here because he doesn't uh, tribute a lot. He tribute uh, uh, against turn middle positions as six percent and fourteen percent against button and cut of combinate. So against cut of is just nine percent. And this guy, uh, this guy also doesn't uh, uh, doesn't uh, tribute a lot from big blind. So that's the reason why I uh, why why I open. Uh, queen 4 suited, I usually open uh, Queen 6 suited 
Okay. I go for higher size here because this guy doesn't fall a lot. Uh, here I'm gonna best the turn. Uh, here we can go for check raise or we can go for um, not the greatest river here. We can go here for check raise or we can go like I'm gonna call this size. I wouldn't call a uh, bigger size, but this size I need to call, especially because he has floats. Okay, now uh, we see that he's folding a lot of delays, so we're gonna bet here. Uh, the problem is this player, if he calls delay, he doesn't fold a lot on the river. So we will we want to see what kind of hands he's calling delay C bet switch. So we go to delay C bets and we call call delay C bet in position. We see that he has weak hands like uh, under pair straight rows gut shots but he doesn't fold a lot of river. So he probably doesn't fold uh, hands like uh, bottom pairs and stuff like that. So against this type of player, it's okay to overbet then, uh, overbet, overbet the, the river after they call the lacy bet because uh, he won't fold like bottom pairs to normal size, but uh, we need to put those hands into into tough spot. So if he, if he wants to call with bottom pair, uh, twice, by six a pot, okay. Let let he does that. It's okay for us. But if we bet normal size, we are just going into his way, and we don't want to do that. Okay. I think we're gonna go now. Uh, play the last uh, free hands that we have. And we're gonna finish for today. Uh, I think it's much better when we explain the HUD and when we explain even the badge. You see, this is my favorite badge, bad bad check fault. We need to like uh, really float these people, like uh, we will float them lightly on the flop and on the turn because they have like many sibeting uh, range with air and they when they check river they mostly are uh, mostly fold so against these type of players we will will float them uh, these players we will stab a lot on the turn and and uh, continue on the river okay and uh, what else uh, this is the cool style cool badge it's triple barreling week in the tribute pot so we he we have have like a graph here and we see the uh, we immediately know the context of the hand look at this so i will move this uh, you see he's he or bet the river with ace blocker he bet the normal sizing here with busted straight draw he bet the he uh, he triple barrel here with uh, uh, with king queen it's okay it's good blockers to jack x uh, i mean against this player uh, we would need we would uh, be willing to call lightly and i from what i see here that when he uses bigger sizes he's probably more polarized and he's wrapping a narrower range and that means that he bluffs mostly with that size also what we uh, wanted to, to know uh, we can know from this this is the real bad pop-up that I talk about we see here it's here uh, what he did out of position real bet or in position real bet and we see the sizes and we see the strength so for example after he called turning position when he bet the river 95% plus his strength was minus 73 Actually, he probably uses on the river uh, sizes are sizes are with bluffs really big size like here 88% of the pot 85% of the plot even without the blocker 80% uh, without anything uh, so we need to see that against this this player Against this player, uh, okay. Against this player, we need to be willing to uh, to call him lightly, and uh, uh, also we need, we want to know uh, we want to uh, check on the river pop up a lot his tendencies. So we see that his tendencies is betting bit 
big with bluffs. But also what I saw that he's like, like uh, when he's betting like small, he's always value betting. That that's like also really cool thing to know when you know that he's like betting uh, thirty uh, to forty five size it's it's or under pair or it's value hand so he's like never bluffing with those smaller sizes it's, it's really important to know and uh, I think that a lot of players had that problems they like when they, they bluff they just say if I bluff bluff with smaller sizes people will call me so they just when they ever when they bet normal like smaller size it's always for value and when you know that information it's so easy to play against them uh, and also you know when to bluff catch them you will bluff catch them when they uh, uh, are polarized and when they are uh, like uh, wrapping a uh, few combos that's the situation we need to attack against this, those players I mean attack situation where you want to make your light calls in that spots because usually what I know is when people uh, uh, when people rep narrow range they uh, are bluffing more than when they are rapping uh, like uh, wide range okay we gonna we gonna squeeze here this guy doesn't fall to squeeze at all he, he will have like 40% hand he will call like king nine here like you see 